Thank the Honourable Minister for visiting. It's not easy to leave Abuja. Uh, Abuja is a comfort zone. Not every minister will want to get out of the comfort zone to come out to see what we have. So we'd like to thank him for coming. And it's, I believe it's been a worthwhile visit and uh, uh, you'll be surprised the depth that this minister has in the aviation industry. As a matter of fact, I have to ask him, when, at what point did you get into aviation like this? Is it just when you were appointed? Because he raises issues, he is able to give um, direction, and you can see that he's hands on. So we thank him for coming, and we we want a collaboration. There are a few things we've talked about. We want this is Nigeria. We want to fly the Nigerian flag proudly. We want to collaborate with the aviation ministry to portray Nigeria. We already have here. Uh, an aviation ecosystem that Nigeria can work with and we can compete with the rest of uh, Africa and indeed the world. So I thank the other minister and for coming. Not only did he come alone, he came with uh, the DG of uh, the Civil Aviation Authority. So we're glad they're here and I'd like to let you actually direct your questions to the Honourable Minister. We just did an examination. He has the results sheets. This is an incredible um, facility here. One of the very first things I identified when I came to office is the need for us to have a maintenance, repair and overhaul facility in Nigeria, a world-class one. The potential of this place, first of the MRO, the potential is world-class. It's about 90%, 95% complete, and by the time it becomes fully operational, I am very, very certain that it's going to capture the whole of the markets in West Africa, in Central Africa, and even up to North Africa. And that is what we'll be looking for. One of the major issues hampering the operation of the aviation sector in Nigeria is we are private operators. There's always been things like this. Our planes go outside country to country, they line up for many months in order just to drag them into their the MRO facilities there, for them to get normal C checks or even ABC checks. But with this one now, we can conserve foreign exchange. We don't have to source for foreign exchange for them to meet their international obligations. And we can also attract foreign exchange into Nigeria. Again, the terminal building, that is the twin you know, um, project going on here, the, the new terminal building. It's not just a terminal building. What I've just seen is a hub. It's a proper hub where they can process international passengers and transfer them from one section to the other for them to catch the international flights. We have been struggling to reach this standard, but what we have here is a hidden jewel. This is beautiful. I have never seen a sub-national that is so dedicated, so committed to a project like of this magnitude as much as Akwa Ibom State. And I've been blessed with governors, successive governors, who have, you know, uh, put their mind to this. And he's um, the finisher of the race, the perfecter, the perfecter and the finisher, the proper pastor that he is, is the perfecter and the finisher of this race. And I just want to thank God for the people of Akwai Bomb State, thank God for him, thank God for Nigerians that they have this type of facility. By the time we, you know, do our certification, the DGNC is here, we we'll of course go through all the processes to certify a few things, safety, safety issues and everything, I am sure we'll be ready for the world. This is not just for people of Akwai Bomb mm -hmm. State. This is for Nigerians. This is for Africa.